We were presented with a great opportunity uh, in August of 2014 when Kevin Hemmen and um, Dennis Kruger approached the city with a proposal to sell the land where the, the development's going to be to the city. For the last three or four months that uh, work was done in terms of getting the proposal finalized and uh, I'm happy to report and very, really proud of our city council and mayor for uh, giving this a unanimous vote of approval uh, in November to move ahead with the uh, sports complex idea. So now we have $262,000 already deposited, ready to be used towards the field amenities. Uh, what that allows us to do is, is have a pretty ambitious timeline with our project, with a dedication ceremony targeted for May 2016. I feel that any city or town that uh, doesn't value a place for its children to play and to have a recreation uh, is going to fail and I just think that it's very important for the town and Dyke to continue to support its young people and give them a place to play and, and this gives us varied activities that they can do, soccer, football. Uh, softball and baseball, something that can keep them busy all summer. We talked about our population growth, our, our school enrollment growth. We have more kids than we have facilities right now. Right now we have over 200 kids in our community, which also serves the communities of Stout and uh, New Hartford. But in baseball and softball in particular, we have one field to serve over 200 um, players. And what that's caused volunteer coaches to do is go out and make ad hoc fields around town. Where the fields were being mowed in the spring, for uh, t-ball uh, fields actually would have been in competition with our soccer programs. My kids are very excited about the uh, new fields coming to town. Um, they get frustrated by having to share the fields with multiple kids. They're very excited to have their own place to play and uh, I think it's awesome to be able to play under the lights. That's always a huge privilege as you're uh, a young kid. I think it's a cool experience. The flag football programs and the fifth, sixth grade tackle football programs, right now they're practicing in an area that's located right by our high school track and football field really makes for some uh, maybe some unsafe moments when the tackle football players are running their plays and kind of getting into our area where we're at. This development is going to open up a lot of opportunity um, for not only future kids but the, fu the kids that are here right now in the city, um, allowing them to play on equipment that's safe and easily um, available to them. We have anticipated uh, and, and, and hope for a strong uh, fiscal partnership with not only people in our communities but with different businesses and organizations and that's already started with um, Mr. Bob Hellman and Build Our Ballparks. Without his invested involvement from the very beginning there's no way that we'd be where we are today. He believes in this project, he wants to give back, he wants to leave his mark, he wants to provide opportunities for youth to better themselves through programs like we're going to be able to offer through the sports complex. And we do everything you know, to the best potential and this is just going to follow suit. When you think about the location along what I would call the Highway 20 corridor, what a better place. Visualize sometime at some night in summers to come where the lights are on, those ball fields are full of kids. Uh, we got parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, people cheering them on. You'll still see, I think, that excitement of our community celebrating um, athletics and teamwork and friendships being built. And uh, it's just part of, you know, who we are as rural Iowa. I hope that this becomes a project that pulls everybody together and, and that we can all support this and, and make it happen. It's about brand. It's about value. It's about what Dyke stands for. That's what we stand for. This is it.